What's up YouTube? Um, sorry, I'm a little sweaty today. Just got back from the gym and kind of wanted to get into things. I've been being a little lazy today. Um, but basically, uh, for today's video, I'm gonna take both the front seats out and um, take it the carpet, because it actually has the original carpet in here. Um, we're probably gonna keep the back, but I also have other plans for the floor. Um, so I won't quite say what that is yet, um, but I also have some brackets for, here's my instructions, my br brackets for the front, the driver's seat, um, so I can actually fit in this thing comfortably. So we'll be installing those today. stepping all over stuff I need to clean up. Um, but anyways, I'm probably gonna take the door off so y'all can get a better look at what I'm doing. I'm gonna take the seats out, take the carpet out, and uh, we'll kind of go from there, so. I thought those JL doors were a little too heavy. <laughs> that thing's something. guys of course when I want to start filming lawnmowers start to turn on but um, had to stop the time-lapse because um, these two bolts on the back side were giving me a lot of trouble and I needed to give it some convincing <laughs> but got both sides taken out on the carpet and the seats um, and now I'm gonna set you all up on the tripod and try and install these brackets so let's give that a shot. So I know you all won't be able to see absolutely everything, um, but I'm just putting four bolts um, in, and then there are these brackets, that the bolts on the brackets that I use to bolt the bracket to the seat. Um, this goes on that bolt, so it's not hitting the, um, the body. So it's just a little um, spacer. Uh, and I'll, I'll put a picture it, the directions are super simple. I'll put a picture of the directions up on the screen um, in, in the video, so y'all, so, so y'all will be able to actually see that. And then if you buy this either from Amazon, Extreme Terrain, Quadratech, whatever, um, if it doesn't come with the descriptive or instructions at all, at least you have this. So. All right, so we have those two brackets installed on the seat. Now we're gonna place it in the vehicle and attach it to the floor. All right, so I uh, ended up not using um, the instructions and did not follow them, um, mainly because on this Jeep, 
there are three bolts that are the same, and then the one bolt that is the closest to the center console in the rear is a different size and it is a star bit. So use one of the, I think it's a T50. And all the other ones, I, well, they're right there. But the original all look like this. So for whatever reason, it's on the same thing on the passenger side, but the rear right back, or I did, the right back bolt is the, um, the star bit, and it's a thicker bolt. It, I can't get it in when, it's, um, when the brackets are on the seat, so I took the seat off. I'm gonna do it the opposite way. Hopefully everything lines up. Um, I left everything pretty loose. I should be able to tighten it. I just couldn't get that bolt in that hole. Um, and I also had to make the hole bigger. So, um, we'll see how it goes. Say hi to everybody, huh? Look, look, look. <laughs> so this is about this is roughly about where where it was um, from stock. It's it was probably a little closer. But I have this much room now, which is fantastic. I can stretch my legs all the way out. When I push in the clutch, my knee almost locks. That's nice. Uh, before, like my shin was hitting the bottom of the dash. So now I actually have to reach for stuff so I can actually bring the seat up just a little bit that's a lot more comfortable so yeah we recently uh put in the seat brackets to um push the seat back four inches um i know i probably should have waited uh until i put that in um because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna apply some sound deadening pads. Um, they sell some off of Extreme Terrain and Quadratech and some name brands, but I decided to get the Amazon Basic. Um, so you can buy them in different packages and I bought two different. Um, I have one here now, it's a 10 by 14 and a half, I think, and it comes in 10 pieces. So that should be able to get the passenger side. Um, and then we'll kind of move around um, to the back of the Jeep and then to the driver's side. Shouldn't be too much of a big deal to get around the uh, driver's seat. I'm not too worried about it. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect, you know. So with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so we've prepped the surface. Um, these are actually 10 by 14, 10 by 14 and a half. Um, so we should be able to get this whole area um, and still have like maybe two left over. Um, but 
usually you apply these with rollers, um, but the roller that I bought um, off Amazon is not here, and I don't know when it's gonna get here because every time it keeps pushing back the, um, the ship date. So I'm just gonna use the end of a wrench. It's got a round surface and I'll be able to get into these little areas. Um, and then um, if I can't get it by hand, then we'll figure it out, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, so as long as we push down um, and there's no bubbles anywhere, then the application should be just fine. So as long as we did our prep work um, good, I'm gonna try and clean up this area down here and I'll show you um, a little more, um, but at least this floor panel is pretty good. And I sanded it with, um, after we wire brushed it, um, I sanded it with, I think 300 grit, something like that. Um, nothing too crazy. I just wanted to smooth up the surface a little bit um, knock anything else off that the wire brush could have missed. Um, either way, we're gonna get out, get on it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so we have all 10 pieces laid out. Um, well, not laid out, but it's it's installed <laughs> and it's stuck in there. It looks pretty good for me doing it for the first time and not knowing what all the little tips and tricks are. Um, so I learned along the way, which is usually somebody's driving like an idiot, but um, um, anyways, it looks pretty good. It turned out, um, pretty much how I wanted to. And, uh, I tried to keep a relatively straight line, um, all the way across because the, um, whether we decide to put carpet back in this and then put a floor liner, like a rubber floor liner to catch all the dirt, um, and whatnot rather than having a clean carpet, or if I just decide to put a rubber mat down in there. Um, I didn't want it to be up too high where I had to look at it. Um, so we'll kind of see how things go. Uh, we're gonna put the seat back in. I got the holes cut out for them. Um, so we'll go ahead and put the seat back in. It's another day. We were back at working on the Jeep. I got my little helpers today. That is Ali, the dark one, and then the lighter one is Nova. And um, so we are gonna be finishing installing the sound deadening um, floor mats onto the rear of the Jeep and then on the driver's side. I did put the passenger side in, I just have it back so I can put a fan in the floorboard because it's a little hot today. All right, so the other night, um, I took the back seat out and took all the carpet out. So I've already vacuumed up as much as I really can. Um, now we're just going to try and wipe it down as clean as possible and just start laying that mat down. So. Well, everybody, uh, we have officially uh, finished, other than some um, minor little details I want to clean up. Um, but we have finished the install of the sound deadening pads. I've probably had about four or five different outfits in this video because um, I just do it when I can, you know. So um, one thing I did want to talk about is 
how much this actually cost me. So I got a box here. So I bought two of the smaller packs. Of course, I can't see the dimensions. All right. So I bought two packs of 14 and a half by 10 inch. Um, and it came, it comes in a 10 pack. So there's 10 pieces that are 14 by 10. So I bought two of those, those add up to being $48. Then on top of that, I bought the bigger sheets, um, that are like, I think they're 18 by 36 or something like that. And there's 10 of those and it covered a lot more than I thought. I have a couple left over. Um, but those, that, that box cost $60. Um, so all together I'm in $108 plus my, um, my seat bracket that was 40 bucks. So I did all of this for $148, give or take. Um, both of the products were bought on Amazon. Um, as you can see, because it says Amazon on the thing, but anyways, $148, so basically 150 bucks, you can sound deadening, you can put sound deadening down in your Jeep. If you're tall, like me, you can put the seat bracket in and that's it. 150 bucks and you're golden. Just like a day of work. <laughs> so we're one step closer to uh, getting this thing on the road. Not that this has anything to do with that um, other than the seat bracket, because I kind of do that, but I could still drive it uh, without it. Um, but that's something that I want. And the sound deadening, I wanted to do that. Whether it will make a difference or not, um, it's a cool experience, I guess. So um, hopefully y'all can get something out of that. And, um, Maybe not do it to a TJ, but you could do it to a JK or a JL, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And um, I'll take I'll take you around so y'all can see everything. Um, it actually turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, um, especially for the price point of just a uh, um, hundred bucks for the sound deadening over the competition on extreme terrain or wherever you want to buy your Jeep products from. Um, can't beat a hundred bucks. So, cause all of that was probably double or even more, but enough talking. Let me show you around. So y'all have kind of already seen the front, um, but I added that section. I still want to do right here. Uh, you can't really see that, but I still want to do in this area on that, um, on the body panel on the backside. Um, but I'm just kind of over it for today and then make it wider. That glare is horrible Come over here. Um, but this turned out pretty good and this is all going to be covered in carpet again. Um, like I've already previous said, I believe. So, and then we'll come around. Got my fans, cause it's hot. Let's see, there's my flashlight. So, this turned out pretty good. This is the last part of that I did. Um, and I know I could have taken the seat out and then I could have gotten more areas down in there, but uh, I, just, I just didn't want to, so. Um, I put the seat in. I probably should have waited, but I didn't. So it is what it is. Um, I'm still happy with it. It turned out pretty good. Um, so this is most likely going to um, conclude this video. And um, I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all got something out of it. Um, learn. Um, I wouldn't say learn from my mistakes. Uh, but now you know that Amazon, if you didn't already, Amazon makes sound deadening pad and um, it probably works just as good as any other name brand does. So I, I am completely happy with how all of this turned out. Um, 
I hope you all enjoyed watching. Uh, this is Jacob from Fisher Jeep Adventures, and we'll see you next time.